All right, we're going to give that another try. We'll see if we get some people to jump on and let us know if you've got some sound. We're back at Mustang Stadium. We had a kickoff, a return by the Mustangs, and a deep throw by Andrew Miko. Out to Clark. Wide open, deep. But Caden drops the ball, and we've got an illegal substitution against United. So what was going to be a big play didn't happen. And unfortunately, the ball falls incomplete. But the Mustangs will pick up five yards on the illegal substitution against United. Illegal substitution on United? Well, unfortunately, it looks like they only gave him a four-yard penalty. There you go. The umpire is going to move the ball up one more. Mustangs will break the huddle, led by Andrew Miko. Snap is over Miko's head. He'll take the ball, fall on it, but that's going to be a big loss of seven yards. Lions got in the backfield quickly. Andrew did a wise thing in falling on the football rather than trying to pick it up and make something happen. You remember the first series, the Mustangs took three plays to get into the end zone. United put together a very nice drive, ended up scoring on the McCauley scamper. Uh, unfortunately for the Lions, their two their two point conversion was marred by a holding penalty, which pushed them back to the twenty yard line and eventually fell incomplete. Second and eleven for the Mustangs. Whistle blows again. We've got the umpire stopping the contest one more time, and he is going to send number thirty three off the field for an illegal armband. So 33, Oren Heidler is going to have to come out of the game. There are pretty strict rules in high school football as to what you can wear as equipment. And the Mustang had an armband up over his elbow, and that is not legal equipment in high school football. Miko in the pistol. Good, strong snap. Roll to his right. He's got big pressure coming, but he's able to avoid a few Mustangs to get around, or the United Lions to get around the right side. He's going to go out of bounds. Looks like he's going to gain about four. Wow, there were a lot of lines in the backfield there. The green machine up front is going to have to do a little bit better job if we're going to give Andrew some time to throw the football. So we got a third and nine for the Mustangs. Thank you for being patient with us and the sound. Andrew will call the cadence, and whistle blows again. And the linesman on the Mustang side of the field has killed the clock, and he is signaling timeout, Portage. Portage. Coach Lonick saw something he didn't like, so he wanted to call a timeout, make sure we get this play correct. This is a big play. It's a third and nine, so we want to make sure we know what we're doing here. This evening is an orange night. For Leukemia Awareness, tonight's game is an orange out in honor of Sophia Tuinstra. Sophia was a student at Westmont Hilltop who recently passed away from leukemia. Our junior class officers thought enough to collect donations and make a contribution to the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society in honor of Sophia's name. This was arranged by, as I said, our junior class officers, Cole Ellis, Maddie Hudak, Mason Cargo, Bella Single, and Lexi Slonick. Class advisors, Mrs. Herman and Mrs. Bartoletti. And we want to thank our staff who had a dress down day earlier this week and donated. And our students had a hat day today. We had lots of participation. We had over $500 raised today. And we are collecting at the gate today to help make that donation in honor of Sophia. So thank you, junior class officers. We're back. Both teams have taken a timeout. There is a minute 43 left on the clock. Third and nine. 
Miko gives to Heidler, coming around the left side. Heidler makes one miss, but the defensive end of the United did a very nice job getting upfield, turning that play back Heidler inside, and a whole lot of Lions were there to help make the stop. Being led by Grassmeyer. So no gain on the play. Fourth and nine, ball sitting at the 40. Miko will drop back in punt formation. Boring and McCauley back. Nice punt by Miko. Gets over the head of McCauley. He's going to roll deep, and the Mustangs are going to be there to down it. Looks like the snapper, Braden the Rabbits, will get down the field first. And he's going to down that ball at about the 16-yard line. So nice job by Andrew. Good, strong punt. Deep into ter United territory. And United has a minute and five on the clock here in the first period to see what they can do. United comes in with an 0-5 record. Mustangs 5-0. and So far, the game has been pretty evenly matched. Boring will take the snap. He'll give to McCauley. We'll try the left side. A few Mustangs there to make the tackle. Very short game. Short game. Beautiful night for football here in Portage, Pennsylvania. Week six of the high school football season. Boring and McCauley in the backfield. Boring will fake into McCauley's belly. He'll keep it. He'll make a defender miss. The ball will be on the ground. Let's see what we got. We got a signal by the referee, Mustang football. So a terrific job by the Mustangs. Boring came around the left side, made number 20, Mason Cargo miss. But Cargo did not give up on the play. He hustled to the pile, and I believe he may be the Mustang that fell on the football. So a no-quit play there by Mason Cargo is going to give the Mustangs the ball deep in United territory. The ball is sitting at the 15-yard line. Gauss comes to the low part of your screen. Heidler on a wing. The give is to Wolford up the middle. Wolford met by the by the United Lions. Wolford on the carry. Nice four yard gain by Wolford. And the Mustangs go right back to the no huddle offense. Signaled into play. The give is to Clark around the left side. Clark. With a nice block by Gauss, he'll duck it inside. He'll get inside the five-yard line where he's pushed out of bounds. Clark on the carry. Number 19, Grassmeyer. And the horn will sound for the end of the first quarter. As the end of the first quarter. So at the end of one... Your Mustangs are leading United by one, Portage seven, United six. There's a look at your Mustang band, led by Mr. Addison Holyfield, drum majors Bella Bartoletti and Grace Court. Terrific job tonight opening up our evening with the Star Spangled Banner. Both teams will head out, back out onto the field, set up that green machine for you. Troxel 
Aravitz, Somerville, Irvin, Madigan, Kennedy. That's your front six. Let's see if they can get some push here and get Wolford into the end zone. We'll give to Wolford, and he will go through a huge hole and score for the Mustangs. So the green machine does a very nice job pushing deep into the end zone, and John Wolford will go in untouched, putting six more points on the board for Portage. The extra point team will come in. A Rabbits will be our holder, Gauss, or our snapper. Gauss will be our holder, and Tubbs will be kicking. Student section, Chance Tubbs' name. Good snap. Nice job by Gavin to get it down. Referee signals good. And that will make the score 14 6. Portage with 11.57 left in the second quarter. So a real nice job by the Mustangs. Getting that turnover and pushing that ball into the end zone. Defense got the ball back. Offense was able to do what they needed to do. And we have a 14-6 to score. Public address announcer Brian Randall is thanking all PIAA officials. Next week is... Uh, the Pennsylvania Interscholastic Education Association is recognizing officials. The Mustangs are idle next week. So we are taking our time to say thank you to the PIAA registered officials. Without you, these games cannot go on. And we appreciate everything that you do to help our student athletes grow, learn, and become productive citizens. So thank you to all of our PIAA officials across the Commonwealth. Mustang kick team will head on out. We'll have McCauley, Caden McCauley, and Boring, Jacob Boring, deep for United. Referee chops it in. 25-second clock will start. Tubbs pulls his sock up, makes a little bit of an adjustment, and let's see if we can get one in the end zone. As I said last week, he did a terrific job driving the ball deep with such a weapon for the Mustangs. Another kick inside to five, so a nice job by Dylan. Real good job by the kick coverage team. That ball was taken by Caden McCauley. Boring on the return, brought down by Cargo. He'll get out to the 26-yard line. Sorry, that was boring on the return. He'll get out to the 26, and United will set up first and 10 with 11.50 to go. I see Sherbine and Psycho at the nose. On the ends, we have Kennedy and Deal. United's been in a pistol all evening with Boring at the helm. Whistle will blow. He puts the ball in the belly of McCauley, but the linesman, the line, linesman, head linesman, is going to kill it. See what we got. We got a dead ball, neutral zone infraction on the Mustangs. So just like that, United's going to get a free five yards, and it's going to be first and five. Ball at the 31. So somebody on the Mustang side lined up in the neutral zone. And that'll cost them five. Boring again. Run the same play. He'll give it to McCauley, who will make a nice little cut. Flag comes in, but McCauley does a nice job getting about six yards, bouncing McCauley off of several carry. Mustangs. But we do have a yellow flag on the field, and it is a holding call against the Lions. Holding. Be 10 yards from the spot of the foul. You saw where the flag was. The referee will march 10 back from there. We'll replay the down, but that is going to give United a double stick situation, and that is going to be first and 13. 
So what was first and five becomes first and 13. McCauley will drop, oh, I'm sorry, Boring will drop back the pass. He'll throw it out in the flat. And it will be completed to complete McCauley, but Mason Cargo, Cargo does a really nice job spying that running back, and they're going to lose some more yardage. So Mason does a nice job falling McCauley out of the backfield. Boring completes the pass to him, but that's a loss of four on the play. United will take the snap again. Boring will drop. He's rolling. He's looking. He cannot find anybody, and he's going to throw the ball out of bounds. But I see a flag on the play. Boring pass. And the preliminary signal is intentional grounding. So this is going to be a big penalty for United. Coach Marabito is talking to the official saying, I'm not sure. Let's talk about this. Referees are going to get together and have a little bit of conversation, but you can see where that flag is at the 10-yard line. And if that is where that's going to be marched off from, that's just outside the 10. It's going to be a five-yard penalty, loss of down. That is an intentional grounding, intentional grounding. loss United. of down. And that is going to be a big five-yard penalty that puts United deep in their own territory. So United has the ball at their own six. And we got gentlemen running in and out. Let's check the down. It's going to be third down. That is a loss of down penalty. So that is a big penalty. It is from where the young man, the quarterback, boring through the ball. It's a five-yard penalty and a loss of down. So it's third and forever. And we have another whistle. And it is a timeout, timeout. United. United. Coach Marabito wants to talk it over. He knows he's deep in his own territory. He doesn't want a mistake here. They've been running from the shotgun quite a bit. Want to make sure that uh, they get the snap and they get their play called. So what looked promising for United, you remember we started the series first and 10. They got the five-yard penalty, first and five. And that ball was actually sitting at the 31-yard line with a first and five. Now the ball is sitting at the six-yard line with a third and 29. And you certainly don't want to make the mistake here. Coach Slonick talking to the boys, making sure they know what's going to happen here. I imagine we probably would see some pressure, uh, send some backers here. Uh, it's third and forever, so if you put some pressure on them, you might get a sack, you might get a safety, you might get a fumble. Uh, I doubt anybody is going to be able to get downfield far enough for a first down. Uh, but if you do send too many and, and they're able to break through the line of scrimmage, you got to have somebody there to be able to make the tackle. So let's see what's dialed up. Coach Marabito, Coach Slonick. Ball's chopped in. Handoff is to McCauley around the right side. Boy, he is hit hard. What a tackle. Real nice job by Braden Aravitz. Brought down by Trusick. Tanner Trusick also in on the tackle. He gains four, uh, but the Mustangs were there, and it looks like the punt team is coming in for the Lions. Gauss and Klar back. Big rush by the Mustangs. They don't get there. The punt is out and a little bit short. 
We do have a flag on the play. Boring's punt gets out to the 35-yard line. Flag on the play. The line judge threw a flag. See what we got. Referees are talking it over, coming over to Coach Slonick to have a conversation with him. Illegal block in the back against United. Block in the back by United. So they're going to go to the end of the kick, and they're going to march off 10 yards. So the Mustangs are going to set up shop in a great position, first and 10 at the United 26. And that has kind of been the theme all night. The, the two scoring drives were deep in United territory to start. And this is the third one now. The first, the one series the Mustangs had on their own side of the ball, they weren't able to do much of with. Miko will hand to Wolford. Wolford over to left side. We'll gain five. Please get out. You're green. 50-50. Second down and a long five for Andrew and the Mustangs. Gauss knows the play. He comes to the low part of the screen. Somerville brings the green machine up to the line of scrimmage. Wolford behind Miko. Will hand to Heidler, who gives to the inside to Clark. Clark will stutter step, and he will head into the end zone. From the 23-yard line, touchdown, Mustangs. So a nice job there by the Mustangs, a little counter. We gave to Heidler. Heidler will cut across, give to Clark. Clark stutter steps, finds a big hole, and pretty much goes untouched into the end zone to make the score 20-6 to with the try to come. Real nice job by Gavin Gauss last time on the hold. Let's see if we get it again. Good snap. Good hold. Good kick. And another point will be added to the total. 21-6. Mustangs. Portage, 21-6. 21-United-6. Tonight's winning 50-50 ticket number is... Again, we'd like to thank Denise Mushkit, Val Gentile, Austin Gentile, and Madeline Sassiri for helping us with this evening's production. Also, I'd like to give a shout-out to Mr. Ryan Klaus and Mr. Lucas Jabina, our tech department, for getting us set up down here at the stadium. You may recall last year we had some buffering issues. We were using a hot spot. Uh, but this year we were able to get a line run to the press box. And we have some pretty strong signal right now. And ho hope you're enjoying this broadcast of Mustang, Mustang football. See, we got 93 fans watching today. Probably lost a few when we turned over to a different live stream. Let us know where you're from. Type something in. If you're watching this game from a distance, we'll be happy to give you a shout out. Tubbs to kick. Boring. And McCauley deep. Another pooch kick will fall at about the 13. Taken by Boring. He'll hit the hole hard, but the Mustangs are right there to bring him down. And he'll get out to about the 29-yard line. So that's where United has been pretty much starting all night, somewhere between the 25 to 30-yard line on each kick. Brought down on the play by number 24, Isaac Deal, and number 42, Nathan Galista.
Boring will keep it himself around the right side. He'll break a tackle and do a real nice job falling forward. That is a nice 15-yard gain, but there is yellow on the field. Miko and Clark on the tackle. Holding against the Lions. The flag is right at the line of scrimmage. It'll be a 10-yard penalty. I'm sure Coach Lonick's going to accept that. It is going to be first and 20 for United. And again, we remind you, United's a young team. They do have seven seniors, but they only have three juniors, 13 sophomores, and nine freshmen for about 42 players. Mustangs come in with some senior leadership, but also play a number of younger student athletes as well. Over on the left side goes Boring. Ty Kennedy. Alex Sherbine on the tackle. Gain of about five, second and 15. Clock rolls with 8.20 to go in the second quarter. Boring fumbles the snap. The Mustangs are there. They put big pressure on him. Kennedy and Deal in the backfield. Boring brought down in the backfield by Kennedy. Cargo also there. So the fumbled snap required Boring to go down and pick it up. The Mustangs able to put some serious pressure on there. They'll lose about three yards on the play, third and 17. Ball resting at the United Lion 22. As we mentioned, United is a member of the Heritage Conference. Mustangs are part of the Westpac Conference. We will be moving to the Heritage next year, so United will become a familiar foe of ours in all sports. We are happy to entertain them here this evening. Boring will take the ball around the right side. Has a little bit of running room. Gets pushed out of bounds by Clark at about the 31-yard line. That'll stop the clock. Fourth down. And it'll bring up a fourth down. We're back to about the – well, it's going to be fourth and nine. It looks like United will send in their punt team. Doing the kicking for United this evening is number two, their quarterback. That's Jacob Boring. He is a senior. Good snap. Got some time. But the punt is blocked. Took his time. Boring took his time. And Isaac Deal was able to get it in the backfield and got two hands on that ball. He blocks it. And it is recovered by his. Defensive end counterpart, Ty Kennedy. So the defensive ends come up big for the Mustangs. And just like we've been doing all night, the Mustangs are going to take over deep in United territory at the 26-yard line. So this will be our fourth series starting inside the United 30. And unfortunately for United, that is a recipe for disaster. I uh, thought he had some time there. He took his time, took a couple steps, but Isaac got there. Miko throws the ball over the middle, hits tight end Ty Kennedy. Ty Kennedy takes a leap into the end zone for the Mustang touchdown. What a terrific play call. Nobody covered Ty Kennedy as he ran down the seam. Andrew saw him wide open. Ty with a nice completion. A few cuts here and there, but pretty much uncontested until he got to about the three. He decided to go airborne and leaps into the end zone for a Mustang score. Ty Kennedy. Nice play call by Coach Slonick and the Mustang coaching staff. They saw something there because Ty was uncovered in the seam. Extra point. Tubbs. It goes through, and we are now with 7-10 to go in a game. Or I'm sorry, the half, 28-6 Mustangs. 28, United, 6. 
Wow, what a quick turnaround this has been. Uh, just late in the first quarter, it was 7-6 Mustangs. But the Mustangs have scored three unanswered touchdowns here in the last, let's say, eight minutes and have taken a 28-6 lead. So Coach Slonick and his squad saw something, and they called that play with Ty Kennedy running down the seam. And as we said, there was nobody around Ty. Uh, Ty was pretty much uncontested until he got inside the five. Two United Lions came over to try to stop him, and Ty decided to go airborne and made his way into the end zone for a touchdown. Beautiful for night for football here in Portage, Pennsylvania, Mustang Stadium. We've said this several times tonight, Tubbs the kick, Boring and Caden McCauley back to receive. Tubbs has done a nice job putting the ball at about the five to ten yard line. Kick return or kick kickoff team has done a nice job keeping the, the lines inside the 30. Let's see if we can do it again. Another pooch will land at the 10. Taken out around the right side. And once again, the Mustangs will stop the Lions short of the 30 yard line. Number 20, Mason Cargo okay, on the stop. Brought down by Nezbella. Trent Nesbella also on that tackle. Nesbella, sophomore. Cargo, a junior. So a couple of younger Mustangs out there on that kickoff team. United, familiar formation, gives to McCauley up the middle. Cargo comes flying in there from his linebacker position and is able to get a wrap, allow his teammates to come in and help. John Wolford on the carry. By Cargo. and Somerville. Second down. Short gain, gain of one, second and nine. So a nice job by Mason flying in there, and Wolford and Somerville able to come in and clean it up. United's attempted a few passes this evening. They'll fake the McCauley. Boring will keep it, but the Mustangs are there. These linebackers are filling nicely. Deal will come off the end and get in there. Sherbine will be there, and Heidler will be there. Third down. No gain on the play, third and nine. So, so far tonight, the United offense has consisted of Boring and McCauley. We're either handing the ball off to McCauley or Boring is keeping it himself. And the Mustangs are snuffing that out and are rather prepared. Let's see if United can come up with something a little different. And this time they will. Boring will roll right pass. He'll fire the ball over the middle. It'll fall incomplete. Wolford and Clark on the coverage. It was intended for number 19, Gage Grassmeyer, where it will fall incomplete. That'll bring up a fourth and nine for the United Lions. And again, we thank you for watching. We see former Mustang. Cody DeMattis out there in Harrisburg working. Thanks for tuning in. See Lewisburg PA checking in, cheering on Andrew and the Mustangs. Thank you. Punt by Boring. Was blocked last time. Gets off with a little bit of a squib kick. Gauss will pick it up. He'll try to go forward. Gain of about five. Well, that was a a dangerous play as there were a lot of bodies around there, but Gavin's able to secure the ball. And the Mustangs will take over first down. And again, they will start inside United territory, albeit the 49-yard line. So thanks for joining us tonight on YouTube, Portage Area SD Live. We're glad we can bring you this game. 
really excited for those that are from a distance, able to watch their nephews or grandsons, granddaughters in the band cheerleading. Uh, we're happy to be able to bring it to you. Give the Wolford. Nice job. Avoids a few tacklers. Falls forward. Looks like he's going to pick up a 10 and be real close to a first down. Brought down by McCulley. McCulley on the tackle. Looks real close to the first down, but the referee says, ah, we're going to call it second down. It's only down number two. We got plenty of downs to make this first down. We're not measuring that. So, yes, again, we are excited to be able to bring you Mustang football. Those of you in town watching, come on down and check out these young men and our, our ladies in the band. Miko throws the ball out to the right side and up in the air. Nice fade pass to Gavin Gauss. Gauss does a terrific job bringing it in. Stutter step, gains a few more. For a big gainer. Grassmeyer on the coverage, but the Mustangs got the ball inside the nine, and it is going to be first and goal for Portage. Gavin did step out of bounds. Coach Lonick wants to go with the hurry up offense. He'll give Miko will give the Heidler around the left side. Heidler will cut it inside, take it back out, pick up about three, and with 420 to go. We'll be inside the 10. We do have a whistle on the play. It looks like we have an injured lion. And indeed we do. Training staff is out there. Coaches are out there. Referees are going to send them to the sideline to water them up. Medical staff out to deal with the young man. Hopefully we just got some cramping. And we'll go back to our comments and say thank you for joining us from Manesson, PA. And if you're watching, type something in the chat. Let us know where you're watching from. Let us know who you're rooting for. We're glad to bring this broadcast to both Portage and United fans. Young man is up. He was able to walk off the field on his own power. Referee's giving the boys a little extra minute to grab some water. Going to send them back in. We have 422 to go in the second period. Mustangs are leading 28-6. They have the ball second and goal at the United 7. Miko will send Heiler in motion. He'll give to Wolford. Wolford will plunge forward. He's going to get in the end zone. For another Mustang touchdown. John Wolford over the right side, right over Irvin and Madigan. Both those linemen do a terrific job opening up a very nice hole for John to rumble those seven yards into the end zone. And the Mustangs will put six more on the board. Tubbs kick up again and good again. United's getting some pressure there on the right side. We'll keep an eye on that. 419, second quarter, Mustangs 35, United Lions 6. Again, this is week six of the high school football season. Mustangs are 5-0. and United still looking for their first win. The Mustangs will have an off week next week. That is, a, we are looking for an opponent. Uh, we will work to try to find one up until midweek, but eventually we will have to shut that down as 
we won't have time to prepare if it gets much, much past Wednesday. But we are actively looking for a school relative our size that we can compete against. We'll see if we can find one. The Lions are going to travel to West Shemokin. I'm sorry, West Shemokin is going to come to United next week. West Shemokin, also a Heritage Conference member. They will take on West Shemokin at home. Then they will travel to Marion Center. Then they will have Penn's Manor at Penn's Manor. And then they will be playing in the Appalachia Bowl, the Heritage Westpac crossover. Mustangs are off next week. Then we travel to Berlin, and we finish up with the Wimber Ramblers here at Portage Stadium. So we have two very tough contests remaining. Dylan's leg's got to be a little tired. He got quite a workout tonight. Another nice kick down to the five, taken by Boring. Boring is going to break a tackle this time, get out around the right side. And do a nice job, a nice return of about 26 yards. Correction, that was McCulley around the right side. A return of 26 yards, and this is going to be United's best starting field position. And let's see if they can put something together here. They did have a very nice drive in the first quarter uh, where they took the ball about the same location and marched it down the field. So let's see what they can do. Boring on a keeper. Boring will hold on to the ball. Sherbine, Heidler, Somerville, all there on the stop. No gain. There is a 35-point rule in high school football. Once you are up 35 points, uh, the clock will run, but that does not begin till second half. So anything that happens in the first half will be a regular clock. But once a team is up by 35 in the second half, the clock will run majority of the time. Boring will give the ball to McCauley around the right side. McCauley gets past the line of scrimmage. Isaac Deal comes out of the pile with the football. But the referees blow it dead, saying his forward progress had stopped. He'll gain two, Sherbine and Deal on the stop. Third and eight for the Lions. Ball sitting at the 39-yard line. Clock is running. Play clock is under 10. United still in the huddle. They'll sprint to the line of scrimmage. Four, three, two. They will get it off. Boring will roll to his right. He'll throw the ball over the middle to a well-covered receiver. But that is going to be complete to number 20, Wade Plowman. Really nice job by United there. Plowman was well covered, but Boring threaded the needle, got the ball into Plowman, who made the catch, brought down immediately, and it'll be fourth and one. Ball at the 46. It looks like United is going to give it a try. Boring will take it himself. He stumbles and falls forward. That was really close. They're going to give him forward progress, and that is going to be good enough for a United Lion first down. So Boring took the snap, stumbled as he got to the line of scrimmage, was able to keep his knee off the ground, fall forward, pick up two, and a new set of downs for the Lions. Clock running, ball sitting at the 48. 
Boring will try the left side again. He'll get a nice block from McCauley, get through a few defenders, and taken down by Isaac Deal, but not before he gets into Mustang territory. First down, United. Nice play there by the Lions. Ball is resting at the 35-yard line of Portage. Deal and Trusick on the tackle. So United putting something together here. Clock running, minute 15 to go. They have one timeout remaining in this half. Boring again. We'll hand McCauley. McCauley will make two miss. He'll push forward, and he'll pick up 11. Real nice run by 26. Kate and McCauley. Both Portage linebackers were there at the line of scrimmage, Wolford and Heidler. He made them both miss, and he was able to get 11 yards and push the ball further into Mustang territory, now sitting at the 24. We'll change out linemen, defensive linemen. Ravitz and Irvin will come in. We still got Kennedy and Deal at the ends. Bodie Plummer checking into the game. Boring will go around the right side. Lead block by McCauley. This time the Mustangs are there. And again, that'll be Heidler. I see Irvin over there as well. No gain on the play. Whistle blows. Clock's being killed. 36 seconds to go. And I believe United has taken their final timeout. And yes, they have. So with 36 seconds to go in the second quarter, 35, six Mustangs. Public address announcer Brian Randall announcing that the Leukemia Lymphoma Society fundraiser has come in at over $1,500. So that's an incredible job by our junior class, our teachers, students, and community. We thank you. Nothing we do could bring Sophia back. But if we could do a small gesture in her honor, uh, we're certainly proud to do so. So a donation of $1,500 will be made to the Leukemia Lymphoma Society in honor of her name, Sophia, a student at Westmont Top High School. Referee signal for the teams to come back. We're at 36 seconds to go in the second quarter. It is second and 10 for United. Let's see what Coach Marabito and the Lions have dialed up. Referee Izotic chops it in. Mustang showing blitz, and they do. Wolford comes flying into the backfield. Boring's able to make a miss. He gets through the line, gain of about two. Cargo able to stop him. Lions go right back to the line of scrimmage and get the snap off with 20 seconds to go. And that is probably going to wrap it up. Boring tries again, but there are many, many Mustangs there to bring him down. He's going to lose five, and it's going to bring up a fourth down with four seconds to go. Will they get a playoff? Yes, they do. He's going to throw to the end zone. The ball's thrown. Intercepted. And the Mustangs are going to take off down the field. It was intercepted by number 11, Caden Clark, inside the five. He'll take it out over the 40-yard line where he is tackled. And that is going to bring the first half to an end. So with two quarters in the books, Portage Mustangs 35, United Lions 6. We'll be back after halftime. Once again, we will show you the bands, but we cannot play the sound as the YouTube algorithm will pick that up There's for copyright point. violation. And we will end up having the video taken down. 
So at the end of the contest, we did have a flag thrown. And what I'm getting from referee, Mr. Izotic, it is a sideline warning. So that does end the half. Uh, it is just a simple warning. Uh, next one would cost the team uh, some yardage. Uh, but while that play was going on, referees weren't able to get up and down the sideline, so they threw the flag. They called a sideline warning. And that will put the teams on notice that they've got to uh, keep clear of the lanes for the referee. So here come the United Lions. Enjoy halftime. And, again, we apologize that we will not be able to bring you the sound, but we will certainly keep the cameras rolling. United brings an impressive number of young men and women here tonight for their marching band.
So we're back here at Mustang Stadium and uh, terrific halftime by both United and Portage. Uh, but United, very, very impressive with their band. Nice numbers, uh, some outstanding selections. Mustangs is always a nice job. Mr. Addison Holyfield, Mrs. Ariel Crum, Mrs. Aileen Miller, Mr. Tim George. Doing a real nice job growing that Mustang marching band. Mr. Holyfield, we hired at the beginning of August, and he was able to put something special together. We have more and more students showing some interest in the band. So that is quite exciting for us. Going to take a look at some season stats. Won't include this evening, obviously, uh, but Andrew has been the only Mustang to throw a pass this year. Uh, he has started all five games. This game makes it six. Uh, he has thrown two touchdown passes. Coming in tonight, he had thrown for 342 yards. The Mustangs have had 12 different rushers, uh, led by Oren Heidler with nine touchdowns, Caden Clark with six, and John Wolford with five. And then we have a few other seniors in there, Tanner Trusick, Isaac Deal, and then we have a host of underclassmen that have been had some opportunities late in games to get an opportunity to carry the ball. Receiving, the Mustangs are led by Clark and Gauss, two seniors. Uh, we have Ty Kennedy with a couple uh, receptions, Oren and John Wolford as well. Defensively, uh, we have recovered a number of fumbles this season. Few defensive statistics, tackles. Total tackles, Clark 27, Cargo 24, Heidler 35, Wolford 25, Aravitz 14, Kennedy 18. So well spread out on the defensive side of the ball for the Mustangs. Wouldn't be a Friday night if a train didn't rip past Mustang Stadium and blow its horn. And that is what is happening now on the main line. For United, we saw a whole bunch of Jacob Boring and Caden McCauley. That seemed to be the existence of the United offense in the first half. Both talented players, Boring a senior, McCauley a sophomore, Caden McCauley. Uh, Boring was either putting it in McCauley's belly, and he did a nice job uh, getting a few yards, or he was keeping it himself. Boring did attempt a few passes. Most fell incomplete. Andrew, on the other hand, has attempted a few passes, had the big pass to Gauss on the Mustang sideline that led to a score. And, of course, we hit Ty Kennedy down the seam as Ty took the pass uncovered into the end zone with a dive to add to the Mustang lead. So at halftime, the score is Portage 35 United six, and the Mustangs will get the ball to start the second half. And again, we want to encourage you to leave a few comments in our chat. Let us know where you're watching from, who you're supporting. Uh, nice to be here with you this evening and provide Mustang football. Miss Denise Mushkit, Mrs. Valerie Gentile, Austin Gentile and Madeline Ciceri helping us out here this evening. Coach Holsoppel will get the kick return team together. The Mustangs will march towards the, the Mustangs will march towards the scoreboard. We will send back Deep Heidler. Clar and Deal will be the up men. And it looks like number two, Jacob Boring, is going to do the kicking. Pooch kick falls short. 
taken by Bodie Leo. Real nice job by Bodie. Good thinking there. Ball was pooched up in the air. Bodie took a few steps back, caught the ball, and got down. And real nice field position for the Mustangs. At the 38-39 yard line. Andrew will come to the huddle. Junior quarterback. Outstanding athlete in three sports. Football, basketball, and baseball. Has behind him an outstanding wrestler in John Wolford. Who he'll give to. Wolford will be stacked up at the line of scrimmage. Mustangs have many players that participate in multiple sports. Mason Cargo, John Wolford, Caden Clark, Gavin Gauss. To name a few, I know we have a uh, offensive lineman Keaton Troxel that plays a little hockey. Newcomer Isaac Dio, I hear, is interested in basketball. Miko will roll to his right, throw it out into the flat, overthrows Caden just a bit, will fall incomplete, bring up a third and ten for the Mustangs. So, yes, we have a number of student athletes uh, on the field, in the band, cheerleaders, major at color guard that do many different activities. And I'm sure United has the same. Uh, you want to participate in everything that you can while you're in high school. You only get to do it one time. You might as well give it a try, have a little fun doing it. Uh, certainly builds a lot of character to commit yourself to a program and work hard to succeed. I learn motion. He'll lead block for Miko. United coming on the backside. Miko will get the ball back out this time to Clark. He'll get a great block by Gauss, and he is going to go untouched into the end zone. That is going to be a 61 yard pass play with the assistance of Gavin Gauss picking up that last defender. Caden turned it upfield, sprinted to the end zone. Mustangs put six more on the board. That is Clark's second touchdown of the day. Tubbs is five for five. Did I just jinx him? Five for five on the extra points. Let's see if he can make it a six for six night. Brayden Ravitz is our snapper. Gavin Gauss, hold. Plenty of time on the play clock. Gavin takes a low snap, gets it down. Tubbs gets the kick up. Tubbs, six for six on the night. Terrific job. So if he is six for six on the night and we kicked off to start the game, this is going to be Dylan's eighth kickoff of the evening. So, again, thanks for joining us. We see you up there in Martindale, Kalen. Thanks for chiming in and watching Mustang football on YouTube, Portage Area SD Live. Uh, we do try to broadcast as many things as we can. We can't get to all of them. Uh, we try to broadcast our junior high games. Uh, we usually don't have a commentator for that. We just put it on and let it run. Uh Evening volleyball games are broadcast, so sometimes we're able to find a broadcaster, sometimes not, but we're still happy to be able to bring it to you. So as I mentioned before halftime, we are in a running clock situation. It is 42 to 6, so we are up 36 points. The clock is going to run, so this half will go rather quickly uh, regardless of what United does the clock will continue to run other than a few official timeouts Tubbs with a nice high kick this time we'll get down to the six will be taken by McCauley 
And the Mustangs are there once again at about the 26-yard line. So I imagine we'll see some starters here for a few series. And then we will see Coach Slonick and his staff makes the Coach Slonick and his staff. I'm sure we'll get some other individuals in there. Hand off to McCauley, left side, gain of two. A Ravitz on the tackle. Brought down by Clark. Kennedy and Clark there as well. Boring will take the snap, and he will try the left side. Running hard. Gain of about three. Third and five for the Lions. The ball sits at the 34-yard line. Ty Kennedy on the stop. Coach Lonick coaching up the boys. Trying to get technique down. Speaking to Coach Shope, make sure we got our defensive line doing what we need to do. Fumbled snap. Ball falls at the feet of Boring. He does a good job getting on top of it. Mustangs are there. But in high school football, once the knee is down, you are down. That's going to be a four-yard loss, three-yard loss. It's going to bring up a fourth and seven for United. Umpire is going to jump in, wipe the football off, help out the center there. Center does have a glove on. Boring is back to punt. Clark and Gauss deep for the Mustangs. Boring is a left footer. I just noticed that. He'll get a nice punt and a nice roll, and the Lions will get down or to down the football at the 35-yard line. So the Mustangs will take over at the 35. Punt will be down by Grassmeyer. And this will be the first series for, I'm sorry, second series for the Mustangs of the second half. First series was the long touchdown by Clark. And again, the clock will run. So this half will go fairly quickly. Green Machine breaks the huddle and gets to the line of scrimmage with enthusiasm. Andrew will send Mason Cargo in motion. And everybody moves but the center. So we have some flags. False start on the Mustangs. So Nicholas wasn't on the same page as Andrew. And everybody took off. And Mustangs will get a five-yard penalty and reset it up. But look at that enthusiasm. Nick breaks the huddle right back to the line of scrimmage, ready to go. Good snap. Hand to Cargo. Back over to, I believe, Heidler. Nice job by Heidler to pick up about 16-17. And that is going to be a first down for the Mustangs just outside of United Territory. Ball's almost at the 50-yard line.
Wolford on the carry. Oh, and a flag is going to be thrown there. Wolford dives up the middle for a gain of about seven. But uh, we had an offensive lineman throw somebody in the backfield. And referee saw it pretty clearly. Dead ball. Personal foul against the Mustangs. Personal foul from Mustangs. So that's going to be from the end of the run. It'll be a 15-yard penalty. And quite honestly, I don't think there was any intent there, just an aggressive play. But it was well away from the play. And after uh, John had been through the line of scrimmage, and the referee said, I'm going to clean that up real quick just so we don't have any additional problems. And he's headed over to the huddle to talk to the Mustangs as well. So that's probably a pretty good piece of officiating there by the referee to make sure this game stays clean. And again, I don't think there was any intent there. Uh, Just was away from the play and probably unnecessary. Andrew will give the ball to Ty Kennedy, who moves to tailback. Ty does a nice job gaining nine. He'll get us inside the original sticks. And it'll bring up a third and nine for the Mustangs. So as I mentioned, you're probably going to start to see some different ball carriers and some different action. I check the sideline. I see uh, Gauss warming up. That looks like Gavin Gauss taking a few snaps. Isaac Deal in there. Mason Cargo in the backfield. Ty Kennedy. That gives the deal back to Cargo. Cargo cuts it inside. Almost gets to the stick. Does a nice job falling forward. It is going to be short. and It's going to bring up a fourth and one for the Mustangs. See what Coach Lonick does here. And again, the clock is going to run. We are at 520 to go in the third quarter. It's going to send Andrew back out. Ball resting at the 42-yard line of the Lions. Motion for deal. The whistle will blow. And that is coming from the referee. He is going to signal illegal substitution, then correct that. And he's going to go delay of game, which the clock was at zero. It's going to go five yards. And Coach Long is going to change his mind. He's going to punt the ball away. So that's another good job by the referee because that's a critical situation there. That's a fourth and one. Shouldn't give extra time, and he didn't. And uh, that's going to force the Mustangs to punt. Andrew's going to go to the... Right side with the rugby style. He's going to kick the ball. It's going to bounce. And McCauley is going to let it roll. And the Mustangs are going to down it very deep in United Territory. That ball is going to be downed at the one-yard line. So a real nice job by Andrew Miko. Good hustle by the Mustangs to get down there. And United is going to set up first and 10 from their own one. Now, they have been in a shotgun all night. So it'll be interesting to see what they do here. I do see some different bodies getting in out there. Some younger players. A Ravitz coming off the field. Psycho going in. I see uh, Brody Plummer out there as well. Tanner Trusick has been in pretty much all night. United will go forward. Give themselves a little breathing room. Jacob Boring has been a workhorse all evening. He'll gain nine. Yeah, let's call it eight. He'll he, he'll gain eight, and it'll bring up a second and two. United's about evenly sized with the Mustangs. You've seen in past weeks the Mustangs have been outsized. Uh, But United is about the same size as as our Stangs are. McCauley on the 
McCauley will take the handoff from Boring. He'll get That's enough for the first down. first down. Mason Cargo will make the stop. We'll change the defensive lineman. The psycho coming out, Sherbine coming in. Also see Irvin going in there. We've been platooning defensive linemen all evening. Clock runs, 3.20 to go. First down for United. Boring again, right side. Boring on the carry, brought down by Cargo. Mason Cargo on the tackle, gain of three, second and seven. Boring, on the carry. Boring again, we'll keep the ball. He'll gain two. Bring up a third and five for United. Third and five. Boring and McCauley. And again, it's going to be boring. He'll make the defensive end miss. He'll cut inside. He'll shift the ball to the outside and keep on headed down the sideline. What a nice run by number two, Jacob Boring. He will step out of bounds at the 42-yard line. But he made a few Mustangs miss there. And we'll get the United Lions out of a deep hole. And give them a fresh series of downs. Real strong effort by the senior, Jacob Boring. And again, he and Caden have been the workhorses this evening. Not that the entire team is working hard. They all are working hard, but they have been carrying the, much of the load as far as carrying the football goes. But that doesn't happen if you don't get some blocking up front. Mustangs have made some changes. McCauley will be met by Heidler, Wolford, Deal, Aravitz, Irvin, no gain, second and 10. I'm looking out there. I see uh, it's like we've got number 80 out there, Colin Shad. Getting some reps at safety. Colin, a senior, will take the place of Caden Clark. McCauley will go to the right side. Mustangs are all over that. Some strong blocking out front. But Bodie Plummer, Aravitz, and Hodler, McCauley on the carry. as well as Irvin, will be there. Brought down by Leo. Third down. Bodie Leo with a nice tackle. He has jumped in at that left end for Ty Kennedy. And that is going to be the end of the third quarter. Teams will go to the sideline, get some instruction, water them up. At the end of three, your score, Portage 42. United, six. Check our chat and say hello to Jess Crum. We see you up there in Martindale. Yep, 2009 graduate. Glad you can join us. Glad we can bring you tonight's football game. Thank you to the family in North Carolina watching us this evening. Again, our Mustangs are off next week. We are actively trying to find a game. We'll probably go till uh, 
early Wednesday morning uh, to see if we can find somebody to compete against. Uh, that is a game that we lost uh, when both Bishop Carroll and Williamsburg entered co-ops. Uh, we were able to pick up one game, uh, but we were not able to find that following week. Uh, United will host West Shimokin, Heritage Conference rivalry. And then the Mustangs have two very, very tough and important games. We'll be traveling to the land of Snyder's potato chips. We'll be headed down to Berlin Brothers Valley to take on a tough Berlin team. And then we will come back here home to take on the Wimber Ramblers. And we will finish up with the Appalachian Bowl crossover games. Boring with another terrific run around the left side. He's going to break a few tackles. And he's going to get into the end zone for a United touchdown. Jacob Boring, 57 yards around the left side, outrunning a few Mustangs. And on the first play of the fourth quarter, the Lions are going to put six on the board. What a great run by Jacob Boring. Uh, there's no quitting that young man. Uh, certainly did a very nice job there. And it looks like the Lions will set up for two. And they will. Boring has to be a little bit tired. He's got McCauley next to him. But he'll take it and roll right. He'll throw the pass over the middle, and it is going to fall incomplete. And there for the Mustangs, number seven, Elliot Nagy, checks into the game. He was on the coverage. So the two-point conversion will not be converted. And with 11.45 to go, so 15 seconds off the clock, the score Portage 42, United Lions 12. Another real strong week at school this week. Uh, this you may have saw in the Tribune Democrat, our shop classes helped us build some room filters. Uh, we we learned of a device online that seemed to be pretty successful at filtering out allergens, dust, and probably even some uh, moisture droplets. And our shop classes under the direction of Mr. Link and Mr. Bear spent this week assembling those devices, and we deployed those into our classrooms yesterday and today. It's going to be quite interesting to see how well they work for us and hopefully make our classroom environments even a bit safer. So thank you to Mr. Link and Mr. Bear for helping us out and to all the students that did such a great job assembling the boxes in such short order. We have them both in the senior high and junior high. Don't forget the Mustang volleyball team is competing. And we'd like to give a shout out to George Kissel the first Portage Mustang golfer to make the state tournament. George is headed down to Heritage Hills to participate in the PIAA Golf Championships on October 18th. He is coached by Mr. Berta and Mr. Vasilko. So congratulations, George, uh, as he will represent the Mustangs at the PIAA State Golf Championships. Another short kick by United. Recovered by the Mustangs, and they will set up shop at the 43-yard line. And before we have an offensive play, Coach Marabito is going to call a timeout. He wants to make sure he has his defense set up. And as I look at the Mustangs over there with Coach Shope, I see a whole lot of youth. So we got a lot of young men getting into the game, and we will do our best to identify them and have their names called. Coach Shope giving them some direction. Cross country team is also having a very successful season. They have a big event coming up hosted on our own cross country course 
the Mustang Stampede. I believe that is also going to be October 18th. Thank you to Maple Crest Golf Course for allowing us to run our cross country there. And our cross country program has just grown tremendously under the leadership of Coach Hudak, Coach Burkett, and Coach Newland. So as we head out there, we've got a whole bunch of new faces. Look like Owen Gauss is going to take the quarterback spot. I see Isaac Walensky. On this left wing, try to get you the rest of these guys if we can. Owen will send Walensky in motion. He'll go to number 27, Trent Nesbella. Nesbella will play ahead, plow ahead for a gain of about two. Brought down by Worthington. See number 51, Justin Morgan in the game at left tackle. Number 18, Owen Gauss, the quarterback, headed back to the huddle. Nagy coming out to the wide side. Callista at end. Bodie Leo at the wing. Handoff up the middle. Fifty-eight, Jacob Nolan in the game. Sixty-seven, Aiden Ritchie on the line. Fifty-one, Justin Morgan, we mentioned. Whistle will blow. Looks like we're going to have a delay of game. And that indeed is the call. Cost the Mustang five yards, and they'll go back. 71, Logan Grove in the game. Forty-two Nate Calista at the end. The give is to Walensky. He'll throw a pass deep to Elliot Nagy. And Nagy unable to bring it in. So just as I mentioned, Andrew has been the only one to throw a pass so far this season. The Mustangs hand it off to Walensky. Walensky goes to throw the ball deep. To Elliot Nagy, Nagy unable to bring it in, and the Mustangs will punt. Mustangs only have nine men on the field. There is the 10th, and there is the 11th. Chance Simmons checking into the game. Looks like Bodie Leo will be back to punt. So the Mustangs do have 10 on the field. Wonder if we'll get a penalty here because we only have six men on the line of scrimmage. Looks like the refs are going to let that go, and Bodie does get it off. And a nice return for United around the left side. So a nice punt by nice Bodie. Punt. It's returned by McCulley. But number 36. Dylan Stevens makes a nice return for United, and he'll put the ball at the 30-yard line of the Mustangs. So we got 8.30 to go. And we got another whistle, and it looks like United wants to talk about what their offense is going to look like. And indeed, that is the case. United. So they call a timeout. They want to make sure they got 11 men where they need to be. 
Coach Shope's going to step out on the field again and talk to his squad. Sure would like to see them step up and get a stop here as United is first and 10 at the 30. See what these young Mustangs can do. Coach Lonick having a conversation with referee Lou Izotic. This chapter out of Indiana area. He's done a nice job tonight. Whistle blows, teams head back. Looks like United's going to go right to the line of scrimmage. They have their play. Oh, looks like we had a false start on the right side of the United line. And we do have a false start signal. It's going to cost United five. It's going to be a first and 15 with the ball sitting at the 35-yard line. We got a whole bunch of different players in there. That is a give over the right side. Ambrose on the carry. Stop by Keith. To Dylan Ambrose. Second down. And Anthony Keith with the stop. Number 29. I see Jake Nolan in there. I see Dalton Chirillo there at the nose guard. Again, the ball is handed off to 21, Dylan Ambrose. Several Mustangs there on the stop. Ambrose on the carry. Brought down by Gauss. Owen Gauss and Bodie Leo on the stop. Mustangs again sub in some linemen. As Bella linebacker. Shad and Gauss is the safeties. Give is the 25. Zach Worthington. Clock's going to be killed, so that's going to be a good enough for a first down. Spot the ball, and I'm sure they will get this clock rolling. Six. 45 to go in the fourth. The Lions inside the 20 of the Mustangs score 42-12 Portage here at Mustang Stadium. Mustangs looking to go 6-0. and Ball is snapped, fumbled, falls on the ground, and recovered. By United. So a handoff that wasn't to be. Ball gets bobbled. And Hunter McGinnis is able to jump on it for United. But not before they lose about eight on the play. So I see Chance Simmons out there. I see Aiden Ritchie out there. United tries the middle of the line. It's Stevens, who's playing quarterback. Stevens on the carry. He goes straight ahead. Third down. Jacob Nolan, Trent Nesbella, Jason Long. Ball is fumbled. Dylan Stevens will fall on it. Recovered by Stevens. 
I see Joey Lawrence out there as well. Logan Grove checks back in. Clock is running, 440 to go. This is a fourth and 25 for United. Ball again is fumbled, 36. Picks it up. Falls on top of it. Dylan Stevens. Should the referee threw a flag. It was to be a beanbag. Uh, the Mustangs will take over first and 10 at their own 45-yard line. So Coach Shope yells, give me that same offense that was out there last series. See Devin Remick checking in, 74. Clock will wind. We don't have enough Mustangs out there. Luke Stohan jumps into the game. Number five. Owen doing a nice job of counting up his players. Sees we're short. He'll bring in Joey Lawrence. Clock is running down. And before the clock is able, well, as the clock goes down, Coach Lonick's going to take a game. delay of game. Prospect. And I could see him and Coach Shope over on the sideline. They're not happy. Uh, they expected to have 11 men ready to go. Same offense that was out there last time. Uh, and that's what brings the excellence. You, you got to be ready to go. When your name and number's called, when your color offense is called, you got to be ready to get out there. That looks sharp. The line looks sharp there. Bunch of young guys. The give is to Leo around the right side. He'll try to cut, get up field, He'll gain about five. So Bodie took a little stutter step, a little big for a stutter step. Lower that shoulder and go forward. Leo on the carry. Uh, but we saw a real crisp offensive line there. Uh, we're running plays in. Guys are coming in, coming out. And again, let's look for uh, quality. Look for that excellence, that Mustang excellence. That's what breeds the, tra the tradition. That's what the Portage pride is. Good sharp line. Shad will come up on the line of scrimmage. He'll get set. We'll send Walensky in motion. He'll go in motion again. Referees are going to kill the clock. They're going to say delay that's a game. delay of game. So that's something we got to work on here with this JV offense, junior varsity offense, a bunch of young guys out there. Your offense was called. Your color was called. You need to get out there and be ready. See if Owen can take charge here. Chop it in. Want to see a crisp line. Want to see everybody lined up and set, ready to go. And we did a nice job there. They give us to Walensky around the left side. He's got some speed. He's going to get outside and out of bounds. On the carry. Nice gainer Outside by Isaac. Worthington. Zach Worthington on the tackle. Good enough for a first down. So a real good job there by Isaac using his speed to outrace the def defense, get around the outside, pick up a first down. And again, we're trying to look, look crisp. That's what we want to do. Again to Walensky. Hand to Baleo. He's got a lot of room around that side side. He does lower the shoulder nicely, but unable to shake a tackler. He'll gain three. Second and seven. Minute 20. Two 
Again, we want to thank you for tuning in and enjoying Mustang football here. Next week will be an off week unless we can find a game. We'd like to play that game at home. Uh, we'll keep you well informed. Snap over Gauss's head. He does a nice job to recover. He'll throw the ball out to Leo, who is wide open. There were no linemen downfield. Leo will break a tackle, and he'll go into the end zone for a Mustang touchdown. Wow, did we have a lot on that play. Owen bobbles the ball, tips it up in the air, turns his back completely to the defense, recovers, turns and finds a wide open Bodie Leo. Linemen were not downfield. Leo cuts back, makes a guy miss, and runs into the end zone for a Mustang score with 54 seconds to go. Tubbs in the kick. Tubbs' kick is up and good. So Dylan has been perfect on the night. Good, strong kick through the uprights. What an exciting play that was. Thought maybe it was going to be a bust when it went through Owen's hands. He was able to tip it up in the air. And as I said, he had his back completely turned to the defense. He was able to turn around and find... Bodie, and sure enough, Bodie was able to scamper to the end zone. And again, that's the excellence we're looking for. You know, we will we want consistency across all colors of offense. We don't care if it's the green offense, the white offense, the black offense, doesn't matter what it is. You want to play Mustang football, you got to do what you're supposed to do when your number is called. You have to be ready to go. And that uh, offense there did a very nice job. Very nice job. I was uh, impressed with the offensive line. They looked good. They looked sharp. Uh, the running backs did a nice job. Owen certainly did a good job there as well. And that's what breeds success. Paying attention in practice. Getting your reps in. Understanding when your number's called, it is your turn to show why you are a Mustang. Looks like we got a different kicker. And I'm guessing that I can't see his number, but it looks like it might be Bodie. Bodie Leo. And he will kick that ball out of bounds. And in high school football, that's three options. 25 yards from where it was kicked. You can take it where it went out of bounds. Or you can do a five-yard penalty and re-kick. And it looks like that's what they're going to do. United has opted to re-kick. So they think they can get a return here. We're going to move the Mustangs back five. And we're going to do that again. And as Bella tells the boys, we got to back up five yards. High school football, you see where they're all lined up. Nobody can be deeper than five yards from the football. That's a safety rule. Used to have guys lining up 10, 15 yards deep, sprinting to the line and timing the kick. And they were running down the field, field full throttle, and there were some serious collisions. So one of the safety rules put in play a few years back is you have to be within five yards of the ball. You watch the NFL, they're right on the line of scrimmage. The Mustangs kick the ball forward. Bodie pooches it, looks like, with a little onside kick, and he does recover that. I'm not sure if Coach wanted that or not. I see Coach Slonick on the sideline a little confused. Uh, but they're going to send out that same offense. 
And I think they're going to take a knee. So we have 51 seconds to go. A little surprised with the onside kick. Uh, but the Mustangs do recover the ball. And they're going to go into victory formation. And they're going to have to snap it one more time. And that will put this one in the books. So a strong night for the Mustangs. First quarter looked a little shaky. Uh, we scored and United came right back and scored on us. But after that, it has been all Mustangs. Gauss will take the final knee. And that is going to do it from Portage. Your final score, Portage Mustangs, 48. United Lions, 12. Thank you for joining us here at Portage Mustang Stadium. Remember, your Mustangs are off next week unless we find a game. And we will certainly keep you informed. Good luck to the United Lions as they will host West Shemokin. Portage 48, United 12. Good night, everybody.